Tsaka za nivoko wako nda uwe, shewe, togela togela, kumaku, siya bonga. Welcome to my channel and thank you very much for being a patron of this channel. And if it's your first time, welcome. Today we are going to be talking about the Mguni ancestral spirits. In the creation, the spirit produces light and light sustains life. And life needs enlightenment. That is why we are on these journeys. We are but only energy having a human experience. The Mgunis ancestral spirit is one of the most commonly known spirits among those ancestral guides that are named after the Nguni tribes from Southern Africa. They are our direct ancestors, such as your great-grandmother, great-grandfather from either side, paternal or maternal, or sometimes from both sides. It is possible. Now, this spirit represents an ancestor who was also spiritually gifted like you, were initiated or need you to initiate for them, by them, with them. If your Zilomunguni needs to go through the process of Ugutwasa, which is initiation, in this process, these ancestral guides are Majozi. They have to be given special herbs to help them function in their calling. They recognize the spirit food. If your Zilomunguni, the Nguni ancestral spirit dresses in different animal skins, prince cloths, amahia, amabai, beads, ubushalu, insindi, the red and white beads are for umguni, and these beads respond to cosmic energies. They get mixed with other beads. They become anchors and identifiers to the gift receiver. The spirit will take hold of the body of Igotronalalu, the one who is chosen, explain their name and surname and their chosen path and why they have come. And these spirits, they will be recognized by old family members or even by the one who is going to be initiated. But with the people migration and the history of displacement within the Bantu tribes, it has become a norm that history gets lost and some of the ancestral spirits would be from 10 generations away while this current generation can only go as far as five generations or when they are lucky, six generations away, which then creates a problem. The Mguni spirit comes with redressing and realignment of lineages, even rewriting of ancestral history, using spiritual powers to fix that which was broken and lost over time. Some families will find that they even gave up their true identity, their true surnames. And sometimes even wealth and prestige, when it came in, it created greed that saw foreign manufactured entities being given leadership positions in family spiritual welfare. That's affecting later generations. This is where Umguni ancestral comes in to fix these things. You know, the Utwala business. Okay. The Mguni spirit, what does it use? It uses bones to diagnose the chest and head is Fubane Kanda, that is intuition, which then directs which treatment is going to be used based on the consultation and the bone reading. Traditional or indigenous herbs are what is umuti, which is used to treat through cleansing rituals with ringing tonics and tinctures called imbiza. Ah, yeah, but imbiza poos <laughs> There is something fascinating about the workings of wedding and interpretations of words in spirituality. For instance, imbiza, well, it normally means a pot. But in this case, what comes to mind when someone speaks of a pot? Hmm? Imbiza. Kitchen, cooking, nourishment, comfort, growth, hope, etc. The words come with a promise and intention. Okay, we'll expand on this in another video. <laughs> Back to the Mguni spirit and its modus operandi. This spirit works in conjunction with Umzawe, which is the water spirit. They are often referred to as the twins, and Mguni spirit often precedes Umdawe when you are in, in initiation. Though Umdawe would often manifest strongly but quietly through sickness even before. The vocal umguni manifesto, one will get sick, 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 and it's umzawe. Often that is umguni, it's because they come first because they are directly linked to your lineage, whereas umzawe would have been, they come part of you through relations, trades, and debts. <laughs> the umguni spirit, uh, a spiritual guide 
thrives on sound trance dancing music ah it evokes this energy look at me getting excited releasing its potency hey, don't get me started this is why we get sabokoko each time we raise our vibration to spirit as we journey to the world of spirit where we let evils be. We say, when we get that, and you know, we say we are letting the moon spirit rejoice. In that time, spirit takes over and yo, oh, oh, oh. you know, I'm reminded of my first Kobela. He would say, which means that the moon spirit is not fearful, nor is it shy. Showing up showmanship and grandeur, these are characteristics of Muni spirit. Warriors arise. Think of the praise singer. Yo, ye. Hey. Well, Muni affects your body. And it affects you physically, emotionally. All your reality just gets messed up. And the main energy it affects is the solar plexus. Now, we're talking chakras, and these are energy centers that are in your body. And if they get misaligned, then you end up having a problem. So the solar plexus, you know, it's, it's a complex system, man, of radiating nerves. It's found in the pit of your stomach. They say in front of the aorta, aorta, and it's part of the sympathetic nervous system. It plays a very important role in functioning of the stomach your kidneys, your liver, you know, your adrenal gland. Hence, the energy radiates on the navel area. Even when it was in Pagama, in Pagama, we are living in it. Since Umbune affects this area, then what happens when your solar plexus and um, center is blocked or chakra is blocked? In some people, a misaligned solar plexus chakra can make skillful self-expression quite a challenge. You know, someone... Someone who was articulated and what what they'll become a mess. And in some it manifests by being overly rigid, you know, they have they become hectic. In others it breeds a victim mentality, lack of direction or self esteem. You know, the positivity just goes. Since umguni affects the solar plexus, does it affect stored emotions? Yes, it does. And those stored emotions there, yo. So which are they? Which one are they? Well, it houses both positive and negative energies, which then speak to your lower radiating energy and your higher vibrating energy. Talking courage, daring, your strong drive, your perseverance, the desire to achieve, to win, to conquer, you know, having strength. But if they are messed up, oof, everything just goes... How do you fix it? Look at the sun. It's an orange. Dress yellow. Sing. Move. Dance. Work on your energy. Go, go, go. I have to remind you that this is an ongoing journey. Returning to your higher self is not a one-day tournament. And what you learn along the way is a mere enlightenment and opportunity. Yours is to walk your journey earnestly. Be patient with yourself. Yes, please. Be patient and calm. Remember, it's your journey and yours alone. Trust the process. Trust your guides. They will protect you. To the east, north, south, west. I am grateful. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and hit the notification button. Thank you.